Hello everyone, here is Ratul Ji and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to convert SMTP server to an SMS proxy. Using this you can send uh, SMS, you can send emails but it will deliver in an SMS format. So this will help you to send SMS through email. So we will talk about each and everything and each steps uh, I'll explain you. So this will help you to send uh, SMS through email. Okay, so this is our application. So first we you need two things first is the num verify key and second is smtp email address and username and password if you are using a gmail you can use and if you want to use with the g suit uh, that's work uh, very well with the g suit as well okay so what uh, does this tool so if you have a number like this it will convert all your numbers uh, in a, as an email format okay so what uh, first it will convert like this sub number inside uh, it will convert like this sub number into these numbers so this is number and this is the car carrier gateway so this is tnt mobile and this is uh, t mobile tmo mail.net and these are the numbers it will automatically convert whatever uh, amount of your number you have you just have to copy and paste so i have currently have a two numbers okay so just uh, format eight and uh, just format it just not nothing but it will uh, separate your numbers by the comma okay so this uh, i've added two numbers okay and if you have uh, already have an email address like this up okay you just copy and paste like this up and you have to choose this option then you don't need to add api key of a num verify so this is a pre key you can uh, you can use okay so just i don't want to add uh, like this of emails i just want to convert my uh, emails my numbers to an email okay so just i will add like this up so this is a usa number and so only work for america and canada so now i have added uh, the numbers and here you have to just type uh, smtp server info like uh, smtp uh, host name port number username password and this form email so when it will be delivered and if this address is right okay like this it will convert this number to an, this number and this number it will generate when we, uh, uh, when you trigger now it will generate the result here results and here data.txt and also you have to watch uh, this server file so this is not this application so let me just close this one so i can show you how or to start a server using node.js okay so so this is just a application node.js and just come here uh, cmd and just have to type node mon and server.js this is the file so server now uh, started so now we have to add a message so this is test messages messages so before to trigger now let me show you this uh, gmail address okay so this is gmail uh, i'm sending using gmails so when we click uh, we expecting the results uh, i have tested too many times here and it's working fine very well so let's trigger it out and you have to check also here as well it will give a response uh yeah so if you see like this up message message send 250 and this is message id and i'm using a g uh, uh google uh gmail smtp so that's why it will show if you have more than one numbers it will show like this of one two three four message send message send message send okay and it will also generate the data like uh, generate the data results let's close this one so you can uh, see clearly results and you can see data.txt so just recently have added uh, <coughs> it will automatically append it will write the file and it will append whatever uh, result so too many times have a test it and it's working fine it will convert so actually what uh, so let's see uh, the results you can see this is test let me refresh so what the message we have added i think nothing message i think message okay so you can see this is last message and this is the message okay when it will deliver uh, it will show us a uh, uh, as a SMS format okay so uh, what uh, this uh, num verify key does so uh, when we add num verify uh, it will detect what the carrier name of this number 
okay so if you have one hundred number thousand number any number it will detect uh, all the numbers at the same time and it's too much fast and then if it will check it is uh, suppose this is the t mobile it will add tmo mo, uh, tmo mail dot uh, net it will add like this automatically it will add and add uh, it will add uh, the data inside this data.txt file okay and then it will send uh, then it will use the smtp info to send emails but it will deliver in a sms format okay so for that let's uh, uh, so uh, let me show you a code so uh, for better understanding so here i will use uh, let me zoom in uh, here i uh, uh, i'd use uh, uh, telephone carrier gateway here which is also free uh, i've added a uh, node mailer here and this is file system for writing files and email to phone uh, library here email to phone and not fetch okay so these are the library i i used and then uh, also i have created uh, the uh, the server using uh, express uh, not express js so this is a body parser so we will get the data from html so here is also html file uh, index dot html so it will uh, get the data from html whatever field you have let me show you here yeah. so i have a form uh, which is uh, its name uh, its name is radio its name is radio and it's an email phone it will detect okay and uh, just a host name it's a host port and username so this will uh, 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 body parser uh, will get your form and uh, in this format let me show you so here is the file index dot uh, index dot html it's getting and uh, then when we this is the uh, function uh, post function when we click on button my action so this is the form let me show you uh, where is form yeah form uh, this is the ip address of our url and this is the my action and here is my action when we click on a my action form uh, we will get a num verify key numbers num verify key host name port name username uh, username from email and messages we are getting and we will also choose we are also uh, choose what you want to choose phone or uh, email okay so for that this is chooser and uh, uh, it's uh, splitting the numbers uh, separated by the comma and then if you choose a phone it will uh, convert your emails uh, it will detect the carriers uh, here using this uh, API and convert into an e email and it will write the file here on data.txt using utf8 format okay so same like here as well and if you choose the email it will send uh, uh, it will send sms uh, here is a, a function which is sms proxy host name port name username password so we are calling this sms proxy function here and here is this function sms proxy so here we are adding uh, the details host name port name username password and something so it will uh, uh we had a used a node mailer to send uh, emails but it will deliver as a sms when we use like this up uh, data okay so pretty much we have a, a scene here so if you have any questions and doubt uh, you can write me comment and if you uh, have any questions and doubt you can uh, ask me in a comment box so thanks for watching bye bye have a nice day